Hi, I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back if you are one of my regular visitors here. And if this is your first visit, a big welcome to you. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And an even bigger welcome to the cockerel that lives next door. And I have no doubt he will be in fine voice today and will jolly us along with this short heads up video and the subject for today's short heads up video which is the 21st of april is mercury our planet of communication in the sign of taurus goes retrograde <laughs> but listen actually you know mercury retrograde can actually be incredibly helpful so yes we can get the usual kind of missed messages, glitches with our technological, um, you know, uh, devices, uh, things going wrong. We can also get, you know, cockerels interrupting me whilst I try and do my little astrological best. Uh, but also, Mercury retrogrades can give us an, uh, a chance to just take our time and look at things that we may have overlooked. It gives us a chance to reflect. Now, Mercury is currently in the sign of Taurus and Taurus, of course, is about uh, value. It's about luxury. It's about, it's about growth. It's about gardens and trees and anything beautiful and green. It's also, it's about luxury. And so, with Mercury in this sign, it's very much about the subjects that could come up that need our attention is a luxurious item might need to be replaced so that we have an opportunity to think, well, do I really want to spend that money out now or could it wait a bit? So those are the kind of areas that we might see coming under this kind of influence. So but also, you know, Taurus is about our self-worth, our value. So it might see us reflecting a little bit on how far we've come, what we have achieved so far in the last, say, month or so leading up to this retrograde. But let's have a look at the event chart because this will give us a little bit more of an inside taste of what we can expect. Now, in the event chart, Mercury is going retrograde in the 11th house. Now, this is the section of the chart that is about the community at large. It's about our hopes, our dreams, things we like to plan with friends. So it may be that uh, we have things that we've planned with friends that get delayed or cancelled. Big events might get delayed or cancelled. There is an awful lot of energy now in the sign of Taurus because we had all that energy building up for the, the new moon total solar eclipse on the 20th. So we've had all that Aries energy that really, really brought things to an intensity and to a climax at that 29 degrees. And now it's just Jupiter, Eris and Chiron that are left in the sign of Aries. And they are going to have something to say too. But that's another heads up. Let's look at the Taurus energy because now we've got the Sun, we've got the Moon, we've got the North Node, Mercury and Uranus. And also a lovely asteroid all about relationships, Juno. You know what? You might hear from someone that you thought had kind of gone off the radar, somebody you are romantically interested in, even if it's only a kind of a worshipping from afar or a kind of the mind idling and imagining and daydreaming about someone. That could be a manifestation of this Mercury energy especially because we've got Uranus here, 
more or less conjunct Juno, which is kind of bringing unexpected events around anything to do of a romantic nature. Now, Mercury, when it turns direct, is actually conjunct the moon in Taurus. Now, the moon is about our feelings. It's about that nurturing, caring side of us. And being conjunct Mercury, this is about being aware to communicate with thought, with feeling. So I feel that this Mercury retrograde really is giving us all an opportunity to slow down and think about how we talk to the people we care about most. You know, one word can end something very quickly. And that word might come out because we've not thought enough about what we're saying before we say it. And as they say, once it's said, it can't be unsaid. Now in this chart, Saturn, our planet, my big outer boy of restrictions, boundaries and timing, is in Pisces conjunct the midheaven. So there's something about this Mercury retrograde that says it's good that we're being given this chance to slow down. Otherwise, I think the energy has been so intense, especially with the build up to the new moon total solar eclipse. Now, that energy is going to have a long lasting effect and is going to go on for not only several weeks, but several months. And as I said in my New Moon Total Solar Eclipse video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on my channel. Because we will look back, maybe in a year's time, maybe in two years' time, and go, ah, that's when things got triggered for me. And with Mercury Retrograde, it's giving you a chance to think and to slow down and think about your next move in the area of your life that is, well, I was going to say your career, and it may well be, but it may also be what you are passionate about. You might be passionate about your family or a particular hobby. And so these are the kind of things that we're going to feel coming up. I think there's also a sense with this Mercury retrograde because of Neptune's placement in Pisces in the 10th house of Korea of not seeing things as clearly as we should do. And this might be being played out on the world stage that, that you know, the people that are in charge Oh, if you can hear noises off, it's my cats. They pick up the energy of when I'm doing these videos and that I want them to be very quiet. And so they play. So um, I'm just going to soldier on. And I don't think we've heard from a somebody named him Chanticleer, <laughs> the cockerel next door. Actually, there's several cockerels. Anyway, moving back to my point about Neptune, Neptune is about not seeing things clearly, but it's also the imagination. It's also the intuition. So is the moon. The moon is in Taurus conjunct Mercury, retrograde in Taurus. Trust your intuition. And it may be that with Mercury retrograde, you find yourself doubting that first thought. But you know what? The first thought that comes into our mind, that is our intuition and that is our true thought and the thought that we need to act on. You know, it's interesting, I was reading something on Facebook, as you do, which was saying that entrepreneurs and successful business people, you might have seen this post, work with their intuition 99% of the time and that's why they're successful. I think that is a really important point because it is the inspiration of the first thought 
that we can use and utilize to set our plans in motion. Now, the ascendant of this chart is ruled by the moon that is conjunct Mercury, because the ascendant is Cancer. Mars, our planet of energy, assertion, war, aggression, is conjunct the ascendant in Cancer. Mars in Cancer can see us being quite um, disturbed. They're scratching their scratching posts now. You can hear them, can't you? Little darlings. Um, they won't get any of their dreamies later. Oh, now he's going to talk. So anyway, Mars in Cancer can be us feeling, have us feeling very emotional about the things we need to say. Because Mercury, remember, is about communication. And Mars is actually sex, darling, which is a helpful aspect, this Mercury retrograde, saying that if we have things to say, we will be saying them with feeling and with passion, with, with love. So it may be that you have an opportunity with this Mercury retrograde to repair some relationships where you've been a little bit too caught in the mind and caught in logic in how you've talked to someone. And this is giving you the opportunity to go back and use some compassion and feeling. That would be a good use of this retrograde Mercury. Now, Pluto in this chart is still, of course, in Aquarius at that zero degree. Pluto is actually getting ready to go retrograde on the 1st of May. And my May videos will be up in the next few days. And I'll be doing a live on the last day of April, the 30th. I'll be doing my live May broadcast. Please join me for that. It's... um. It's always interesting. We will never know which cats may appear, which cockerels will appear. There we go. We had one just then. And <laughs> it's all very interesting. Anyway, before I finish this, I just want to also come. Yeah, Pluto is in the part of the chart that is about transformation and about other people's money. Now, remember, Taurus is about the economy. It's about our own finances and the global economy. So there is something here about a slowdown. You know, as of today, when I'm recording this, which is actually the 17th of April, the markets are actually doing remarkably well. But I think there could be a little bit of a false ceiling here. And that actually when Mercury goes retrograde on the 21st, that we may see events happening in the world that will affect the economy and slow it down. Also, Venus, our goddess of love, relationship, the ruler of Taurus, is now in Gemini. Gemini, of course, is the sign about communication that Mercury rules. Now, Venus of course, can also be about value and money, as well as being about love and relationship. So these are the kind of areas that are going to be highlighted. You might find that you need to have conversations with um, maybe people you work with or your loved ones about their budgeting, how much they're spending, what are they, are they lashing out on on expensive items, are they really necessary? Remember, it's Taurus, it's luxury. So that's the kind of energy that I think will be around for this Mercury retrograde. Now it goes direct again on the 15th of May, the day before Jupiter, the 16th, moves into Taurus. So that's gonna be interesting. And all I want to say is that this 
is as usual going to be a mercury retrograde that will have some of the classic things of things breaking down but i think it'll be luxury goods you break something that is luxurious and have to think about whether it's worth you know fixing or not so those are the kind of things that i think get affected when mercury is in taurus so on that note i want to say thank you so much for joining me for your medium length heads up about this month's mercury retrograde sorry may's mercury retrograde but it starts in april on the 21st when you record these and then you're talking about future dates and you're trying to kind of project yourself into the future it can get a little bit confusing so we now have a lovely bird chirping away but i don't mind them they're lovely and anyway thank you so much for joining me shall i continue to witter please remember to like comment and subscribe thank you to the farmyard next door for their entertainment and the noise is off. And please, thank you for those of you who have recently subscribed to my website. If you haven't and you would like to, I'd love it if you could do that as well, because we are planning some um, courses, webinars, which are all going to be upcoming in the second part of the year for you to join in. And they, that, that could be super fun. And we're, we're working on it behind the scenes. So that's something to look forward to. So in the meantime, thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.